Folks, welcome back to the show. Welcome good morning, back. good afternoon, good evening, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hanukkah. How was your Thanksgiving? It was splendid. You know, got to see the fam, got to hang out with my dog, Bella. Yeah. She's a cutie pie. She's a. Is that a new dog? No. No, she oh, actually. I thought your dog passed away. Those are our other friends. No, my dog did pass away, but that was like a year ago. Oh, that's not dead. Like, that's like, yeah, okay, my grandfather passed away <laughs> 20 years ago. You can't just say that. I mean, I'm not wrong. <laughs> that's true. No, but. I um, use subjective vernacular. No, but she just turned nine, actually. Bella, my dog. Really? Yeah. It's an old ass dog. Yeah, she's still kicking it. Like she is obsessed with the fucking ball. Like any time there's a tennis ball around, it's in her mouth or she's like dropping it on you, telling her to play. Or mm. like telling you to play. So you women should take a lesson from her putting balls in your mouth whenever they're presented to you. All right. Um yeah, that was cunning. I- that was <laughs> cunning. I like that. <laughs> you know the oldest cat in the world is twenty six? Really? 26. I feel like I heard that somewhere. Yeah, it just turned 26, and I think another... That is a um, fucking full-grown man. Dude, like, yeah, no, that's a quarter of a century. Most Nobody nobody in Africa lives to the age of 26. Fuck, Juice World didn't even make it that far. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. But fuck, I mean, he does have nine lives, so he's probably just been saving them bitches up. Hell yeah. Um, Speaking of pussy, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, we have the the ads back for Warnick and and uh, yeah and Hershey, which yep. is great. I'm gonna call him Hershey. Hershey, give him oh. a nice little kiss. Yeah, I like that. Um, it's not racially. Oh, I didn't even not, think about not that. even. But they don't care about that. Like you know. No, I mean, like you were saying earlier, both of them are idiots. Yeah. So yeah. they're both buffoons. Um, it was fun for a while. Not because they're black, they're idiots, just to clarify. We don't I mean, need to clarify. Now you're I mean, you're projecting white guilt. What are you doing No, here? I mean, because people, people say what they say nowadays, and it's... I don't want to read it. I want to get it out of the way. Preventative. Okay. All right. Well, we'll take that for what it is. Thank you for clarifying. I, I don't give a shit. If you think I'm racist, then... You can't. I mean, but. yeah. Well, we had two views on the last episode, so you better bump those numbers up, folks, or we're going to have some problems. Yeah, then we're going to have to start getting racist. We're going to put Fuck. ads for fucking Herschel and Warnock. I'm just not going to give a shit anymore. Yeah. I mean, that will at least get us some money, but we're trying to uphold a uh, morality here. Yeah. Um. So enable us. But... Um, the whole thing is fucking stupid, man. It's, I mean, it's, they it's just obscene. keep they just keep shitting on each other. From it's like a whole different angle mm-hmm. until it's going to be a full full circle, three sixty degrees. Just every angle of shitting on each other, and, and it doesn't get anywhere either. Like we were saying, it it doesn't never gets anywhere. It doesn't no. prove a point. You're just no. the only point that you're possibly trying to prove is that the other guy is worse than you. Yeah, but but exactly. there's a lot of things wrong with both of them. Exactly, and like I said earlier, you would think that Hershey, being a football player, would know the difference between the defense and the offense. You can't win a ball game, Hershey, if you're only playing defense. You have to play offense too. But Fags. they are not doing that. Facts. It is fags. a very. Are you, would you, what did you just say? I said facts. Interesting. Um. So <laughs> I, I just thought I heard something else for a second. Oh no, never. But it's in, and then the go vote thing. That's a yeah. that's a fun thing. Like go, when when Joe Biden tells you to go vote, and mm-hmm. he's like, you know, I got a fucking text from a, a representative of a uh, Warnock. I got I a fucking like automated text. I get them all the time, and I responded back, and they didn't ever responded back to me. I responded back, and I was like. I was like, um, all of y'all are corrupt. And then they said, you'll be taken off the list immediately. And then sent me another text message like the next day. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I said, are you sure he's a reverend? 
<laughs> For real. I mean, um, but no, like politics is hilariously ironic. I don't want to get too political and we're not here. We're not going to, no. there's a difference between getting, I had, a, I had a joke about this. There's a difference between political bias and then getting political and everything's political now. Yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. If you have a small dog, you're a liberal. If you have a big dog, you're conservative. <laughs> if you have one cat, you are liberal. If you have many cats, you are very conservative. Yeah. And so that's like like where you shop. You go to Whole Foods, you're a liberal. You go to Publix, you're a conservative. I like small businesses. So we are we're not gonna get politically biased. But do you make moonshine? You're a liberal. No, that's very kidding. niche. I'm just kidding. Yeah, mo- moonshiners get real liberal. They fight mm-hmm. for, you know, reproductive rights. Anyway. Um No, but yeah, we don't we, we don't ever get too political. We just kind of keep up with the daily Yeah, it's just daily news. news, the weekly news, and then I mean it's gonna be political either way. It is unbiased news. But but that's that's for us to poke and make fun of, so Yeah, exactly. But so Alyssa Milano, who is a child actor, um, who now has taken it on her own behest to become a political voice. Who is this? Alyssa Milano. She's a child actor. Here, I'll look her up. Let's see where she's from. from. uh, Anything noteworthy? Yeah, she's some from uh, from some big Milano. Let's see. Oh, there's a donation to Warnick. Okay, so my name is Earl. Wet hot American summer ten years later. So let's see what the premise great, of this movie is. Great, that sounds. Wait, that's a movie. Um, a series. That sounds like some Love Island type shit. Oh yeah, it sounds like American Pie. It sounds like Love Island, American Pie, but for like people twenty, thirty years older than us. Yeah, it sounds like there'd be a scene where, like, some hot bitch just takes her tits out and starts breastfeeding, like, a bunch of fraternity <laughs> brothers or something. And uh, what's funny about this is that she is a woman's rights advocate. So that's an interesting change of position. Um, but she swapped her Tesla oh. for a Volkswagen. In order to she fight, made a, she made a statement right there. She did, and what's funny about this is that it was to fight white supremacists, because Elon Musk is a white supremacist. Oh, now. of course, the biggest out there. Um, but do you know the origins of Volkswagen? Probably the Nazis. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, Ford back in the day was yes, yes. sending vehicles to Nazis. Yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. And uh, Walt Disney had their like. Entertainment minister um, over on the night of Crystal Knocked. Like, Crystal Knocked was literally happening, and Walt Disney had this lady in the office to show her around. Yeah. Um, But it doesn't uh, matter because, it, it yeah, sh- things change. We, we mm-hmm. like some Nazis now, like Ukraine. They have the Azov Battalion who are yeah, Nazis. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we, we like them because they are... Um, Nazis who are oppressed by white supremacy. Exactly, they're Westernized Nazis. They are progressive Nazis. Don't you? Don't you get it? You know what's crazy though is like Germany banned like the Nazi symbol, but Poland and like Israel, they don't. They did it. Like Germany Israel. is one of the Israel. Is. <laughs> No, but I'm being serious, though. Like, most countries, like, they didn't ban it. Yeah, Israel's like, Israel's like, we are the result of the Holocaust, and we don't even ban it. <laughs> so what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> well, like, Poland, you would think, at least. Yeah, I mean, no, well, that That brings up this fucking Joe Rogan podcast. I forgot who it was with. It was this lady, and she was talking about all the uh, the Nazi scientists that came over. After yeah, World War Two, Operation II. Paperclip. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Oh yeah, do you like? And they do you have know like about that? dueling scars and shit. Yeah. <laughs> now here we're gonna have to put this in uh in the um you're gonna have to crop this in the the episode. Okay. So Kurt DeBose, 
We're going to look him up. I know we've said that, and I keep forgetting for every episode. I know, I know, that, but we'll so remember I'm gonna, this. I'm going to actually do it this time. So this is Kurt DeBoos, lovely young man. You see yeah, he's got. Yeah, yeah, That's the guy that they were talking about. Yep. Do you know what he uh, did in his later ventures? No, I don't remember. He, he did NASA and shit. Yeah, he was the director of NASA yeah. and the founder. And he, there's a picture of him and Kennedy next to each other. Right. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Directly after a world war that almost destroyed the world, he uh, comes over here and builds rockets. And fucking Argentina. Mm-hmm. Dude. Now, I don't know much about that, but. So, what they were talking about is that there's basically a little colony of German people in Argentina. They speak German. They have fucking Oktoberfest-esque like shit that goes on. What the on. fuck was I saying? I was telling you it was a Nazi fucking festival. <laughs> I Didn't mean, I? They... <laughs> I fucking called it. For anyone that doesn't know, Oktoberfest is a, is a festival. It's a German festival in Helen where we're... And it's we, spelled we with around. a K. Yeah. You know oh, what K shit. means. Oh, fuck. Multiply it thrice. <laughs> and we're not talking a strikeout. Oh, cunning. Fuck. <laughs> Cunting. No, but like these these fucking children, these adults, like they all have the same culture and language as like they're German in Argentina. Yeah. And they're telling these stories like, oh, your great grandfather was a great war hero. Like, no, he was a fucking uh, yeah. <laughs> Nazi. Bro. Joseph like, Goebbels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, no, that shit's uh, that's crazy. They did. um. They did one show. I think it was called The Hunters on Amazon. And this was like before COVID, so I knew no, a voice crack. Sorry, my that balls. That was a bad one. My Damn. balls are growing. Fucking testes just dropped a little bit there. Yeah, it's about time. I have a small Fuck. penis and I'm still a midget. So let's get this show on the road, God. <laughs> anyway. um, But yeah, no, I watched a show called The Hunters and it was about that. About me. Yeah. My clones. Oh, now I get it. My shadow clone jutsu. Mm. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shadow clone these nuts in your mouth. Oh, fuck, dude. That That's an image right there. Yeah. That's a hell of a picture. Image. That. Let that marinate. Um, but they uh, had all these Nazis, and then this group of Jews. And Al Pacino was one of them. Nice way to just throw that motherfucker down. Yeah. I mean, it's like the last few sips. You can't ever just... Get that other one. Come on. Let's get this. Well, let's that's, this. that's my last one. I'm only three deep this time. You've already had and one? And it's light beer. You already had one. Well, why'd you get light beer? You fucking... Because this shit's fucking gas. Pomegranate and agave. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Oh, my God. You were drinking pomegranate and agave beer. Yeah, it's fucking USDA organic. Yeah, yeah, and so is uh, the vapes that we buy at the, no, at the gas station. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, they're not even FDA approved, except for views. Views is FDA approved. Yeah, isn't that believable? Yeah, like, right. Unbelievable. That no, it actually shit is. Feels like a fucking hurricane yeah. entering your lungs. Yeah, because it says that it doesn't involve carcinogenic um, molecules as much as other vapes do. Yeah, keyword or as much as this is like a fun exactly. thing they do exactly. where they like use non-binding. It's language. like it's the safest thing that will give you cancer. Yeah, it'll kill you in two months instead of two weeks. Yeah. So, um. But yeah, no, that was that was like a real thing. It was there was some other big example of this and I can't remember. I think a bunch of people in um in uh Huntsville at the the I think it's NASA down there, right? Huntsville, Alabama. I have no idea. I think that that was where it was and then there were they found out they were a bunch of Nazis too. Can you imagine that just like getting out of a war and saying you come, come on over. Yeah. Come on over. Well, because they knew if they didn't, then the Russians would take them. Exactly. And so, that's kind of the thing. That's the trade off there. That's the thing is like morally, is it right? No. But you, you got to get that upper hand, that advantage. If, I mean, 
you, you don't want to just be twiddling your fucking fingers when all the German scientists, like, we got all the good ones. We did. They got nothing. Like they fucking made shit happen. Like yeah. We, like, we went to the moon with them and shit. Well, Russia went to the moon, too. Yeah, but we went there first, though. So, some people think that. <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that some up. Some people think that. I'm just kidding. I, I'm not big into that one. I don't give a fuck. Who? It's the moon. Who cares? I mean, they've they've proved it that we did go. Well, yeah, so, but I they've mean, also proven the Earth's round, and that's just not the case either. Isn't it like a triangle? It's flat. It's like a plate, like a plate, okay. and then you have people who are like, "Well, what is the sky then?" And it's a dome. That goes over it all, and then the stars are um, little holes that allow the light so of like heaven to So, like, whenever we through. go to the other side of the continent, we're just, like, flipping over? Actually, the funny thing about that is that nobody's ever actually done that. Everybody that says they've done that is um, getting paid by... The U.S. government. Oh, fuck, dude. It just keeps getting deeper. Yep. It's like a Bella Danger. She's a porn star. Uh, yeah. Now I get it. That's funny. Um, <laughs> so imagine this. Imagine fucking a girl and then not coming and the condom keeps slipping off. And then you say, okay. I'm, I'm going to get a new one. And then you put that one on and you're fucking her again. And you're like, oh, I'm almost there. And then the condom slips off again. Ooh. And then so you say, let me put on a new one. And now you're getting a little soft. So you're worried. And then, but it's okay. So you just keep fucking her again. And then the yeah. condom breaks. That is basically what we're going through right yeah. now. Yeah, we're going through a pregnancy score. Scare me and Carson. Right now, what you are seeing is uh, the fifth take of the episode. And it's going to be the best one yet. It's going to be damn good. So slide that finger on that clit and let's get ready to go. Yeah, yeah. even if you're a fucking guy, I mean, you got that G-spot in your asshole. You can figure it out. I mean, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking British roadman. Yeah. Bruv. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Shove your finger in it. Proper. In it. Proper. Proper fucked. Right. Proper railed. Yeah. Lad, lass, proper. Uh, what was uh, the John? The John the was John, proper fucked. The uh, the Wagwans. Wagwan. You say what's up, we say Wagwan. <laughs> um, we were talking about soccer. Soccer, you know, the great it, sport of soccer. You mean- you mean football, mate? Fo- football. Football. Indeed. No, it was football, mate. Um, and le- what I wanted... To- okay, so the U.S. beat Iran, and that was vengeance for 9-11. Um, we've covered that. So now all of that is washed away. Yeah. Um, I feel better now than I did when they killed... Uh, what the- what's his fucking face? Osama. Osama. Osama we loved him. Um, the turb head. But let me... Okay. The best countries at soccer. Okay. Name them. The USA. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Who is... I don't who fucking is, know. Okay, it's like Germany, Britain, Brazil, Brazil. places like this. Colombia. Yeah, what, what do they all share in common? Wait, name the first... First couple? Germany, Br- Britain, Brazil. Big booty Latinas. Okay. Well, close. Uh, they're socialist. Uh, and so my point here, I'm going to get to my thesis. America has a tradition of exceptionalism. And so that's why, like, when we were kids, back when, you know, there were no participation trophies when we were kids. Like, if you didn't do good, you got abused by your father. And that yeah. was a better way to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you even felt shitty for getting like a third place trophy. Mm-hmm. And now kids rave about that shit. And that's why we love football because, and I'm not talking about football. I'm talking about football. football. I'm talking about fucking put the pads on football. Yeah. 
I'm talking about fucking sacrifice your entire high school uh, academic and your career. your fucking brain function for and that your, shit. And your CTE. ACL gone yeah. for football mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that's what we do here. Yeah. We sacrifice everything. And we're hard. And. We're hard. If you fuck up on the football field, everybody knows it. Okay. Oh yeah. If you're a running back and you fuck up on a play, everybody's like, "Adrian fucked up." Yeah. If you're an offensive lineman and you fuck up on a play, everybody knows. Because it's like a John Fatso conglomerate. Up. Like two people who don't know what football is is like, it's just a con- conglomerate fucking whirlwind of shit going on. A good, but in a reality, good point. But in reality, like, everybody has their job. If one person fucks up, you know, they might get through the hole. They might fucking get a sack. They might not catch the ball. Whatever it is, everybody has their role. Exactly. And so in soccer, you can literally sit on the field and really not even move for the entire hour. And then nobody will notice. Yeah. They'll just be like, he's a defender. That's what he does. But the only thing is when they do move, they are, like, running. They, they are sprinting. Across the entire field. Who cares? That's running. That's simple. Get him to juke. That's um, why I like rugby, though. Get him to do a spin move. Rugby is cool. Get him to hurdle over someone into the oh, end zone. Oh, God, dude. The fucking... How they flop and shit. That is oh, the yeah. most pussy shit. Oh, yeah. But here's my point. Let me let me wrap it up. Let me wrap up my point. Yeah. My point is that we have exceptionalism in America. You strive to be the best. There is mm-hmm. no, you sit out this play and you don't do shit and you still get recognition, you're still on the best team. No, no, no. None of that. But in soccer, you do that because they reward yeah. everyone equally, no matter the output of effort. Mm. And that's why soccer was never a big thing, but now it is. Because now we've emasculated, we've gotten rid of Andrew Tate. We've gotten mm. rid of fucking Good Mel Gibson. Riddance. Good red ends. And we've emasculated the culture, so now we mm. love soccer because soccer's yeah. a pussy ass sport and you can be a piece of shit yeah. and still get on the fucking field. I love that. Thank you. All right. I love that. No, but episode's over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but fucking I saw this one comment that this guy had and he was like, The whole world should be thankful that we have football. And we have baseball, and we have all of these other sports that are more popular in America. Like, sure, soccer, football is is highly grossing in our country right now with Atlanta United and all that shit. But the whole world. Women. Oh, yeah. Women, you know, they're getting more power. No, I'm just kidding. But basically... If we didn't have football and baseball and all these other sports, all of the athletes in America would be training for soccer. So if soccer, just like most fucking countries. So if that was the only sport that all American athletes focused on, no fucking country would ever win another soccer game. Because we would find the most elite people, like we already do, obviously, for like the USA team, but it would be... Even more stacked. Yeah. If we had like eight foot fucking gnarly ass guys running out there. Just fucking shit up. That's true. Plus, it, soccer countries are poor because like that's all you... Soccer doesn't require any equipment. But in America, guess what? We're rich, baby. We ain't got it. Like in Iran, can you imagine them practicing? They're like practicing with some guy's head that they chopped off because he violated Sharia law. Yeah, and because their dad's an ISIS. Yeah, and that's how they got really good. Yeah. But in America, we don't have to do that. You know, we lob off a head and mm-hmm. we just like put it on the the steps of the Capitol building to send a message. Um, but we have money. We have money, baby. We have money for lacrosse. Lacrosse is a a great, really um, sure fucking rich kid waspy sport. Very waspy. Where, like, the equipment's $2,000. Mm-hmm. You got to buy a full-on fucking pole for that shit. And most people can't even build a house in Iran. So how are they going to be able to... That's true. They can't put a pole up for their house. That's true. Also, n- lacrosse is a very niche sport, I would say. Like, it came from the north, and then it yes. came to the south. I feel like... A lot of other countries aren't playing lacrosse. Maybe because they're poor. Maybe because they're poor. 
Yeah, poor fucks. That's why Canada playing plays with it. sticks and spider webs. Spider webs. You but it with did. It did originate from the Native Americans who um, we really? advocate for. Them. Yeah, of course. That's where it came from. Really? Yeah, the Iroquois. Okay. Oh yeah, they're the shit. Yeah, I wasn't a big lacrosse guy. Really? You weren't up. gay? Like me? No, I wasn't gay. Oh, I was gay, so I played lacrosse. It was always a joke growing up with my baseball buddies that like oh, yeah. anybody that played lacrosse like just wasn't good enough to play baseball. Yeah. We weren't good enough to swing a bat yeah. every hour three times. Make make hand eye contact well, hand eye coordination with the ball. Yeah, well, I'm not going to get into it with you about with, with the, the skill level required for lacrosse, but I'll acknowledge your point. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't play with sacks. I mean, I play with balls, but they're we, not the same. So we play with sacks? Yeah. Like a lacrosse stick? It's a like sack. That's a whole penis right there. That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> If you really think about it, that's actually a really good point so. you made, and I can't, I can't, um, I can't I mean, I, to I, that. I, I, I honestly don't give a shit. But that was just something that we would... didn't really work out for either of us, did it? <laughs> <laughs> but it did for uh, one of those guys that we went to high school with, Brandon Marsh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, dude, he's fucking playing for the Phillies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, well, some crazy. motherfuckers can strike out. That shit out. is crazy, though. I know. Seeing people you know on the on the old telly, mm-hmm. it's wild. Um, but, yeah, I found this funny, too. So Apple is about to take Twitter off of the App Store, so it won't be available to iPhones anymore. What? Yeah. No way. Because they're perpetuating hate speech and misinformation. No way. Yes. Well, at the same time, Apple is... Are you dead ass? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And at the same time, get this. Apple is lobbying against a uh, forced labor bill against China in the United States. How funny. So there is a... uh, Here, I'll pull it up. That is... So there's that a, is the most contradicting thing I've heard all week. Exactly. I all mean, I'm year, telling you, honestly. you got to get into it because it's so funny. So the U- Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. Basically, okay. So the, this bill imposes limits on goods produced using forced labor in China, especially the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, and imposes sanctions related to such forced labor. The Department of Homeland Security shall report to Congress a sta- strategy for preventing the inf- importation of goods produced in China using forced labor. The strategy must contain certain information, including a list of entities working with the government in Xinjiang, in Xinjiang to move forced labor Xinjiang. to Uyghurs, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, or members of other persecuted groups out of Xinjiang. So, if you don't know some backstory, so uh, what Xinjiang is the region. Yeah, that's the region they live in. Okay. It's like that weird area in China where it's like Russia and and okay. Middle East all just in a fucking a melting pot like America is referred to. And um, okay. they use labor from these people that they've put in concentration camps to make goods such as iPhones, Nike, all that shit. And so this act would prevent using such labor um, to produce those goods for sale in America. And so Apple is funding campaigns to go against that. They're lobbying the opposition to it. Okay. While at the same time, this is the funny thing. This is the punchline. That's what line. we talked about last podcast. Did we? Uh, yeah, talking about the, the Apple factory? Yes, we you did. You know, the forced labor that they're enduring and they can't leave because somebody supposedly tested positive for COVID. Exactly. And so to Apple, now, taking Elon Musk, the great white supremacist of America, <laughs> is um, more important and more morally good than using literal slave labor in a foreign country. Well, that makes me disappointed because I've been, I've been an Apple user for like, I mean, I'd say hey, we got it right there, baby. I'd say ninety percent of fucking America is an oh, Apple yeah. user, you know. Oh yeah, because like it's the culture at this point. It's the modern culture that if you have a Samsung, you're either an IT guy 
or you just don't know what the fuck technology is. Mm -hmm. That's basically how it goes. Because iPhone, they fucking took storm with the first iPhone and like the first the first Mac even, like back in the fucking eighties or nineties, whatever it was. Like the first at home computer where you yeah. can sit that fat ass thing. It's ridiculous. I mean very contradicting. That was back in the days when it was being built by some method in Ohio. And now it's being made by some five-year-old most in normal, China. Most normal company in Ohio. Oh, there we go. With the, I forgot Ohio was the TikTok trend. <laughs> yeah. I was referring to it because my father was uh, bred there and abused as a kid. But oh, really? whatever. He was, he was born there? My dad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes sense how you turned out. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. Genetic trauma, baby. Um, we're um, not going to get into that. Um, but yeah, I mean, how funny, how funny. You I have was a, just saying that cause the Ohio thing. Like, I know it's a trend. It's <laughs> cute. It's a cute trend. Like grocery I, store in honestly, Ohio. I mean, it's, it's, it's it, it was funny for like a month, like a week. And now it's, it's just still dominating every comment section. Yeah. And it, it's. Why, what the fuck is in Ohio besides like, um, I don't even know how it, like how it originated. The meme originated, yeah. like just, just the vague idea that Ohio is where like all of these, like, just insubordinate, like white yeah. trash people live, and it's like, you go to Ohio and it looks like a scene from Game of Thrones at the Wall, <laughs> like it's not. It's just grim. It's fucking always. Uh, overcast. It looks like shit. It's a bunch of sad people walking around that worked blue collar wages and they want Trump in um, because he fights for them, even though he lives in a golden tower in Manhattan. And that's what Ohio, you want to see something crazy. You ever been to Miami? God. You ever been to Miami? That shit is fucking expensive. Oh, yeah. As dog shit. But that's a place where you'll find true wacko shit. Oh, yeah. You'll see a fucking transgender beating the shit out of a fucking cop <laughs> for fun. <laughs> and not get arrested. And not get arrested. No, nah, but, dude, the amount of beautiful people that are in Miami. Oh, yeah. My Latina honeys. It's unbelievable. Latinas. What do you think about them? Latinas? Yeah. Yay or nay? I'm going to marry one one day. So that's like, your type? I mean, yeah. I've never, like, dated one or anything, but yeah, I've, well, I've convinced myself. Yeah. This has been, like, for a few years now. I'm My head is straight on marrying a Latina. Because, mm -hmm. well, I love Spanish. I don't know if anybody <laughs> knew that. I love the language... I want to be fluent one day, but that's, I mean, I just love Spanish culture and I love the fucking fat ass that they have on them. Yeah. They got a dumpy on that <laughs> shit. Got they a got fucking, a fucking package on yeah. the back of that wagon. Like Thomas the train couldn't handle that. Caboose, Hell bro. no. Like, fuck. That caboose is in the front of the train. <sighs> um, I don't know if that, okay. Um, yeah, we, yeah, but yeah, no, Latinas are the shit, man. They, and the funny thing about, like, Latinos, primarily. Have you seen the Edgar meme? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Edgars. <laughs> but they're all, like, super conservative, which is funny. Like, if you look at the Proud Boys, the leader of the Proud Boys at one point was fucking Hispanic. Really? Yeah, like a white supremacist group. They were, the leader was Hispanic. Hmm. Like I, you, I mean, I feel like that makes sense, though. Can you, okay, justify that? I don't that. know. I don't, I just feel like most Hispanic people, I don't know, man. I don't know what, I, what the fuck I'm saying, honestly. They're but just, like, they, they're they get off, working. they get off that boat and they turn just staunch conservative. Because <laughs> they're Catholics, they hate abortion. They keep their they're women like, they're in like, line. They're like, fuck giving everybody everything. Like, I got here. I deserve, like, what I deserve. I'm not going to give it to some uh, fucking yeah. homeless white guy when I almost died of starvation exactly. and hypothermia crossing over here. Like, yeah. I don't think they're white supremacists. I think they just hate, like, poor people. 
you know? They love gas station food, though. Oh, you're telling me. Oh, I know. <laughs> I Have I ever told my story about landscaping? Yeah, yeah. You've told me, you told me a little Dude, bit. Dude, they would come into that gas station, and there's this one little man. I can't remember his name. I think his name was Juarez. Edgar, if I remember right. Um, and he was like this little man. And like, so we'd get there at 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. at the spot. And then th- they would take the trucks like to the sites to do the work. And so like I would take a nap because it's fucking 6 a.m. But Hispanics just don't give a shit about the morning. Like they're wired. I That's something I never understood either. Me neither. But so I'm trying to take a, ma- a nap. And this guy's going 100 miles per hour. And I, like, spoke a little bit of Spanish, but this wasn't even Spanish. This was straight Mexican. And it was just this little, like, he reminded me of, of like, one of the dwarfs from Snow White because he was small <laughs> and he was, he was grumpy. He was grumpy. And okay. you could tell. I didn't know what he was saying. You could tell this man was complaining about everything in the world. He was just going 100 miles per hour. And so we get in the gas station, and this is lunch. And um, he, he, uh, we all go in, and I'm, like, looking for shit, and I just see them all form a line at the taquito station because that's where they go. Yeah. And um, I'm, like, trying to pick out a barbecue sandwich, and I, I hear, like, or feel a little tap on my shoulder. And he's, like, he like says something like, ¿Qué es esto? Whatever. That's what is this, what right? What is this, yeah. Yeah, and so I'm, like, a sandwich. And he's, like... Ay, cabron, which means like uh, a bastard or baby goat. Yeah, like, yeah. And uh, I like that. I found it as a term of endearment. I felt especially loved. Ay, cabron. Because they, they coined that for me for a while. They, they, they just called, called me cabron? Yeah, cabron. Like I would like fuck something up and yeah. like not do the right job. And they'd be like, ay, cabron. And I'd just like smile. Were they ever like stereotypical and called you gringo? No, no, they never did that. That and and back to my whole so conservative like, thing. I feel like that's more of a derogatory term. That's like they know we know that. Like you can't do that anymore. Um, but we were we were riding through uh, Peachtree Corners. Okay. And um, this this jack dude was running with this rainbow top on that says "queer and proud," <laughs> and um, they started saying, um, "What was the word?" Oh, I think it was Kulo. Kulo or Kulo. Col- Colyo. Something like that. Colyo. And it, it means pussy in Spanish. Cuño. And they were, I don't think it was that. Oh, oh, Cocho. It was Cocho. Cucho. They're like, Cucho. They're like, Cocho. Cocho. And that means pussy in Spanish because I looked it up. Was it Cucho? And they're, no, it was Cocho. Cocho? C O C H O. And they're just screaming at him. And the guy was like, what? And they were just like roasting the shit out of him. And they all started <laughs> laughing. That's that's fucking that's funny as fuck. Honestly. God, I love them. Um, maybe we should just start because that that makes me bring up this point. Is maybe if we have any bias towards anybody, but we don't want them to know, just start spitting derogatory foreign language at them. Yeah, because they yeah. don't know what the fuck they're saying. Well, that's what the Vietnamese women do in the fucking nail shop every day. Oh, hell yeah, dude. They're talking shit about dude, these white cunts that come in there on seen, the reg. Have you seen that white guy that, like, knows, like, 20 fucking languages, and he goes on TikTok? He went into a fucking nail salon one time, and they were, like, talking whatever. And he was, like, and then he responded in their language, and mm-hmm. she's, like, oh, fuck, oh, shit. I, sh- I shouldn't have said I that. I fucked up. But, like, they were like, yeah, this white boy, like, why is he here? This is a nail salon. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I just thought I'd stop by. But he said it in their language. And she's like, what the yeah, she's fuck? Like, fuck. I ain't getting no tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just always find that shit interesting. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I definitely, I am, I, I fuck it. I identify as Latino now. I'm fucking down. I will with Let's you. Let's just identify okay. as Latino. Because we can fucking do that. Yeah. We're trans race, yeah. not transgender. That brings up fucking the whole Matt Walsh thing. Oh, yeah. Is um This guy. He started 
So this hospital came out with this video talking about how they've had patients as young as three years old having trans surgeries. Like they know that they they want to be the opposite race or whatever. And Matt Walsh is basically telling them, like, this is wrong. This yeah. is very wrong. And he he gets slandered for it. And he actually went on uh, Dr. Phil for it. <laughs> and Dr. Phil's like, well, you don't think that these people should be able to express themselves um, in their own in their yeah. own way with their language? And he's like, he's like, well, let me put it this way: I can't own an adjective. I can't say I'm brilliant and I'm funny. Yeah. So you should every time that you mention me, you should mention me with those adjectives. Like, yeah. Talk to me as if I am that. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You, you you can't have adjectives where you can't have your own pronouns. So he's saying basically, like you're either male or female. And he said he said the whole concept of gender should just be done with, and it should just be sex. Yeah. And there was a trans. I remember trans I watched woman. this shit. Yeah. It was just hilarious. Amazing. You see this this she man thing. Yeah. Yeah. It had a beard, yeah. like a full fucking beard and a full head of hair. Yeah. Lashes and all. And then it's little Indian, you know, thing friend came on and they're like holding yeah. hands and they're like, I've got yeah, you. But, that. but he's like. He's a woman. He's just a, he's a woman. It's something like that. The Indian is. He's he like just, a she that. He just looked like a fucking guy with a box mod and. He looked like a Reddit nerd. Yeah. But. He looked like someone who put computer codes at night. Fucking IT trans. Yeah. But um, no, Matt Walsh came out with an apology video. <laughs> and he said, I apologize for absolutely nothing. And uh, y'all should be apologizing to me. He pulled the McGregor. Because, yeah, exactly. He was like, fuck your opinion. <laughs> it, <clears throat> and he was like, everybody worried about my children. <laughs> like, my children are fine. They love me. They're, yeah. they're, they're raised as any other fucking normal child would be. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. He, he's a, um, I mean, dare I say, just fanatic about this shit. Like, yeah, I mean, he nobody won't. really cares. Well, that's my stance on it. Well, that's your stance, but a lot of people care and are triggered by what he says. And I that's understand why that. But like, why? Because it's it's this new it's this whole fucking like this this decade has been fucking crazy so oh, far, yeah. and we're only two years into it. Oh yeah, like culture has been pressed on us like a different a different fucking way of culture has Balenciaga's been Balenciaga's advocating Balenciaga. for a child porn Bro, case. have you read into that Oh, all? yeah, the child porn case? Yeah, there's this... There's one uh, picture... Or there's like a roll of tape on the ground, too, where it says B-A-A-L in Siaga, and Ball is yeah. like some a fucking satanic demon. god yeah, yeah some satan yeah. some satanic god and then there's these books that were written by these pedophiles Jeffrey Epstein basically <laughs> i mean basically it's this guy who made a book and the illustrations are all nude children yeah and it's completely sexualized oh yeah oh yeah and it's like there's a whole board of people that look at this picture set up the the picture, and then publish it. Yeah. So you're telling me that this whole fucking board of people were just like, yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. We could just put that out there. Nobody will, nobody will catch yeah. it. I mean, this is the book from my library. So yeah. Well, one of the dads of the children who was in the photo shoot was like, the kids all had fun. What's the problem? So you know when you're doing that, like it's just it's great. And the and the funny thing about this is that Balenciaga, which is now like advocating for child porn, were also the people who like did the whole Me Too shit with Harvey Weinstein, where they're like, he's an animal, women, right? And they're like trying to put down Kanye, right? 
and they're doing that shit. Yeah. Like the dad was probably like the dad said that because yeah. his kids aren't getting the thousands of dollars yeah, in right, royalties right, right, from right. that picture he is. Right. So he's like, I need I need this fucking check. Yeah. These kids need to keep fucking uh, Yeah. <laughs> or he's like he's like a a literal sex offender and he's like, I really need this case to go well for me. <laughs> fucking sad man it's it's perverted it's fucking irate how these these big companies like it just makes me think more and more every day like all of this just alludes to like california the film industry big media like all of it's connected oh yeah all of it's connected uh, they've been connected they've, they've been pushing their own agenda but i feel like only recently have they really came out and really given less of a fuck of yeah. disguising it. Yeah. They pressed the hot girl summer button <laughs> and they said, we're going in on this. We're leaning they were in. Like, they were like, Lizzo's just a teaser. Yeah. Like, get ready for this yeah. shit, guys. You thought the fat thing was bad. Yeah. Buckle up. We're, we're bringing in another bigger beached whale. Yeah. Like, uh, no, we're going to start fucking putting kids in lingerie and getting them fat and then putting that with teddy bears. <laughs> and we'll then we'll make the teddy bears fuck them. And that's how I'm going to get in trouble for that if someone sees this, but that's you know where it's going. That's where it's going. No, I mean it's all fags. Yeah. Okay. All fags. I mean no, yeah, fags. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, facts. Facts? Facts, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have going on here? I thought that that whole um, – and then, and then like – but people will go overboard with, with that too where they'll mm-hmm. be like Satan's everywhere and everything. And in the new Santa Claus because they came out with like a miniseries or something on Disney. I don't know. I, I'm not going to watch it. Did they? Um, and in one of the parts, like the little elves line up. With like letters, and they're like, it spells welcome Satan. And then Santa Claus is like, well, you got the N in the wrong place. You're supposed to put it here. And it was welcome back Santa. And everybody's like, look what they're doing. Yeah. And the thing about, um, what's his name? Tim Allen. Tim Allen like voted for Trump. Like he's one of the people who's like very conservative. Mm-hmm. And now they're like, Satanist media. And so now we're just eating our own. Damn. You know? So people go too crazy with it. The thing is with Disney is like they're they're like I was saying earlier, they're up there in that fucking Illuminati ring. Like For they, sure. Like they're but pulling like, the strings like the like the fucking um the fucking Toy Story shit. Or what was it? Where it was like Buzz is gay or some the shit. The Buzz Lightyear movie. Yeah, what yeah, that's some fucking gay shit. But I saw this leaked meeting. It was like a Microsoft Teams meeting of these Disney CEOs and CFOs and shit and like all the board members. And there's this one lesbian lady and she's talking about it. She's like, she's like, I really wasn't expecting everybody to be okay with me pushing my my gay agenda yeah. and all of this. Like verbatim, that's what she said. And she was like, but now since nobody cares, I'm push I'm pushing my little queer things as much as I can. Yeah. Like that's what she said. Yeah. Like blatantly. Yeah. Well they just don't care. It's not even giving a fuck anymore. Yeah, they're throwing haymakers because they nobody's blocking them. So they're gonna go for it. And that's fine. You know, make Dumbo gay, make uh Make Mickey trans. Yep. Yeah, make them all gay. Yeah. Um, I don't care. It's Disney. I'm not going to show my kids Disney anyway. I'm going to make them read. I'm going to make them read Nietzsche. The older movies of Disney, for sure. Because that was back when everything was like so seemingly innocent. And like it was just pure. Like Moana, like that yeah. was I feel like one of the last movies where they just really like actually like wholesome. Yeah. Yeah, you know, for like, the fam. Like beneficial to yeah. everybody and not yeah. just pushing some shit down your throat. Right. Right. 
But and and back in the day, you know, they used to get it right. Like every princess had to be saved by a man, and like that's like how it should. Now it's like princesses yeah. are like, it's me, bitch. I don't need no mm-hmm. man. Exactly, like Frozen. Yeah. And they're like scissoring and shit. Yeah. Hey, tell me this, Snow White. In 2022, being an independent bitch, how are you going to fare eating that apple with no Prince Charming to save you? For real, bro. Huh? Beauty and the Beast, bro. Who's going to protect you if yeah. you don't have a beast with you? Exactly. Your fucking clit ring girlfriend. With uh, a fucking- then, then what's his name? Um, The big jacked guy. Gaston. Gaston will come and fucking mm-hmm. rape you because the beast ain't there to protect you. Yeah. It's fucked. And guess who the beast is? Andrew Tate. Moto Moto likes you. Like, what are you going to do without that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Fucking curl up in a fetal position and just be ready to die. Moto Moto might have been, might have told Gloria to get in the kitchen. And might have made her wash laundry, but, but hey, he, he would take a bullet for her. Yeah, though, you know, he was providing. In other news, um, this, <laughs> this one guy put his head in a particle accelerator. And how did that go? Was this intentional? No. Okay. It was not intentional. So, so how are you playing peekaboo in the particle he's accelerator? He's like one of exactly. the one of the biggest physicists. Um, around and well, he's dead now. If it wasn't obvious, because or is of he radiation? Does he have superpowers? He's on Epstein's island with Epstein and Michael Jackson. No, but the there was a light that said if the particle accelerator was on. You know what a particle accelerator is? Yeah, basically. yeah. It's just. These protons that are colliding with each other right. near the speed of light because it's a vacuum. And fun fact, if all of the superconducting wire in this particle accelerator is so long, you could it, it matches the length of the Earth's orbit. Huh. Yeah, there's hella wire in that shit. Holy shit. Like, like billions of yeah, dollars. Like- Fuck. Okay. No, but yeah, I thought that was cool. But the light just coincidentally burnt out that told him that this shit's on. Like, hey, don't walk in here because he had to go in there and do some shit. And the light was off and he just walked in there and he said he felt no pain, but there was just a bright flash of light that just blinded him for a couple minutes. And it literally went like straight through his face and out the back of his head. And you could see he lost some hair where the beam went out. And there's a lot of science and shit that I'm not going to explain, but it eventually led to organ failure. Okay. And he fucking died. But like, it's like his own personal Chernobyl, this motherfucker. Jesus. What a fun way to bite the dust. Wow. So, I mean, smart people can do very dumb things, but also dumb people do dumber things. Like there was this one video that I saw. Shout out Chubby Emu on okay. YouTube. He's Sounds this like do- a porn star. Yeah. <laughs> He's this he's this doctor, but he's a YouTuber, and he explains all these medical cases that come in. And his name is Chubby Emo. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah, and the the avatar picture is a Chubby a Emo. A Chubby Emo. Yeah. That's it's, clever. It's great. It's okay. great. No, but he's he's really cool. He's really intelligent. He breaks down every single scientific word and process, like whenever these people come to the ER and they're like, "What's wrong with me?" or whatever. Like this one this one kid. His mom left out these essential oils, and he drank it. And his body was overloaded with acid. He was just too essential. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not essential enough. <laughs> but um, no, but this one dad, that's why I was talking about dumb people doing dumb things. This dad, daughter's like 8, 12 years old, whatever the fuck. Same thing, basically. She... 
is watching YouTube like any normal teen would do. You know, I watched hella YouTube growing up. Yeah. She's just sitting there, and she's like, oh, I want a snack. She goes in the pantry, finds this big bag of gummies. The dad had gotten in trouble a week earlier with with the wife because he <sighs> ate too many edibles, and he fell down the stairs. And she was like, you need to stop all that. You need to stop eating that. It's fucking you up and all this shit. So he thought instead of keeping them where he usually did, he would disguise them with a regular gummy yeah. candy bag in the pantry. Just mix up all the fucking edible gummies with the real ones. And he thought that was a good fucking idea. Yeah. yeah. So lo and behold, she gets up from her computer and she goes in the pantry and starts eating them. She, th- she thought they were really delicious. And... One by one, she ate 96. Oh, wow. 96. Wow. So that, let's just say that they were 10 milligram gummies. 960 MGs. Yeah, that's, I mean, probably more than that, honestly. But for a 12-year-old, that's not okay. Yeah. For anybody, that's not okay. So she's like fucking slumping out. She She fell down the stairs, too. And that's when the mom comes out and is like, what the fuck? Like, what happened? Jim? And she's barely <laughs> she's barely even responding. Any words that she does say do not make sense. Yeah. Like, not literate. So she takes her to the ER and she's like, I don't know what happened. She fell down the stairs. She could have hit her head and it could have been uh, like brain trauma, like brain issue. So they did a whole scan on her brain, came back fine. Did a urine sample, and that's when they found all of all of the cannabis. What if they just arrested this little twelve year old? <laughs> like you're going to fucking jail. <laughs> just fucking imagine that's your way you go out. You overdose on weed. Wait, so did she did she die? No, she didn't end up dying. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> I was hoping she died. Yeah. Then that would have been poetic because yeah. the dad fell down the stairs. She would have. And then she would have fallen down the stairs, you know, to, she, to hell. She would have because, so whenever, this is what I'm talking about when he breaks down all the science. So like the Delta 9 THC is what you smoke. When you eat it, it turns into 11 hydroxy THC or something like that. And it's six times more potent than inhaling weed. And so her body digested it, tried to get it out of her system through her liver with her urine. And then it was st- there was so much that it was digested again. Like it went through her brain, went all through her blood. And there was so much that it had to still be like broken down. So it turned into another compound of THC that's similar, that's even more potent. And then that went through her body and it's lipophilic which means that it it attaches to fats and your brain is mostly fat. That's why like when you smoke it gives you a good high for a while because your brain absorbs these cannabinoids okay. and shit like that. So all of this shit is just taking over her brain. Uh, fine. And I just thought that was insane. Like that definitely led to a divorce. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what if she like woke up and she's like I am Jesus? <laughs> She's like that British lady. I don't know if you heard. There's this British lady. She like went into a coma and then she woke up one day and started speaking fluent Chinese. <laughs> like, how the fuck does that happen? Access to a higher dimension. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean, folks, this is why you just, you know, you ditch the, the weed and you get on um, something a little more serious, a little more adult, a little uh, Percocet. Xanax, yeah, some bars, for Adderall. Sure. If this child had eaten Adderall gummies, it would have fucking gone on Wall Street. Exactly. It would have done all of its chores. Exactly. <laughs> and then started day trading. Yeah. Um, get off the weed. The weed's fucking, you know, then it develops and it compounds. But with Adderall, you're just, you know. You're just fucking wired. You're there. It's the limitless pill. You're there. The limitless pill is literally just ODing on Adderall. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Then you'll use 110% of your brain. Hey, you'll use 400%. 
you know, it's a myth <laughs> that we actually like we do use one hundred percent of our true. brain, but just not at the same time. Y- yeah, I've heard something about that yeah. where people are like, "This is stupid." Mm-hmm. It's like when David Goggins says, "When you want to quit, you're actually only forty percent done." Like, okay. But when Morgan Freeman says it, you're like, oh, shit, yeah, that might like, be real. Oh, now I understand it. Like, shit. Yeah. Because Morgan Freeman could tell me that, like, I'm gay and I will never amount to anything in my life. Yeah. And, like, I'm a, I'm a fucking triceratops. And I would believe him if, just because he just has that face and that composure and that tone, especially. If there was like a slideshow of the Balenciaga pictures and Morgan Freeman was the one narrating it, oh. I would have been like, uh, put me in that. That's what made 21 Savage's album a thousand times better. Like, sure, people were like, have you not no. heard that? Where no. Morgan Freeman's literally narrating really? the album. Are you serious? Yes, What dude. a great Holy move. shit. You have to listen to it. Okay. But... It's literally like Morgan Freeman saying some deep ass like motivational shit, oh, talking yeah. about rats and oh, like yeah. like you can't ever trust a rat God, and I shit love like him. that. No, but like what I'm saying is like sure, Twenty One Savage comes out with an album like Twenty One and Drake just did. Sure, you're like fuck, I gotta listen to it because it's BBL 20, cause Drake, baby. BBL Drake, yeah, Twenty One, and you, <laughs> you're like you're like fuck, I need to listen to it. But this time it's like. There's that added incentive. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, fuck, 21 came out? Yeah. But Morgan Freeman's yeah. on this shit? They should have put BBL Morgan Freeman. <laughs> God. 21. I would love that more than Drake. I mean, yeah, me too. Morgan Freeman fucking pop his ass. Oh, yeah. Pop that pussy. Morgan Freeman shaking ass like Lizzo. That would have been a sight to see. <laughs> um, What time are we at? Uh, well, this take was forty five minutes, so I think we had, okay. I had like, but we had the other one. Yeah, so it's one. probably about an hour ten. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we had some setbacks. We had some setbacks, but you know we always prevail. Yeah, but um, we'll give y'all the uh, show. We're going to update you. We want to be transparent, right? Yep. We want to be... Transsexual. You know, yeah. We uh, we want to be personal with you. And so we have put the podcast on Spotify. We've put it on Apple Podcasts now. Um, it's been on YouTube. It's on anywhere else you can get podcasts. I think we're now on everywhere. Um, so go and listen to it. Like if you can't watch it, yeah, you know, go, li- I'm not an, I, I'm not a video guy. Like I don't need video. Like yeah. I need audio. So like, you know, if you want to be, cause the whole thing with video, you have to engage, you have to sit down and watch it and you're not going to do that exactly. because you're too busy watching Outer Banks. And nowadays people's attention spans just can't do it. Exactly. So just play it in the car. Yeah. If you're like driving home. Like if it's an hour away, 30 yeah. minutes away, I mean, shit. I mean, even if you're not done with the video, there's always a history section in there yeah. on your YouTube or just fucking, just fucking watch. Damn it. Just listen. Fuck. Listen. Listen to your Volkswagen day, that you bought f- to fight white supremacy. Because one day we're going to fucking have Morgan Freeman on here. And then it's not going to be free anymore. There's going to have to be a subscription paid to watch our shit. Because it'll be BBL, Morgan. Fuck yes. And you'll definitely have to pay for that. Imagine Shawshank Redemption, but BBL, Morgan Holy Freeman. Holy shit. BBL, Shawshank Dude, Redemption. Dude, we should actually pitch that. I feel like that's just Orange is the New Black at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the funniest things that you said, I think. That was funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> But yeah, listen to it. Listen to his uh, fucking album. I've literally been listening, and I'm not like just saying this. Like I listen to it at least every day. Damn. Like I listen to it in the gym. It's the only rap I listen to anymore. Well, hey, I appreciate. Like that. it's fucking great. That's so go crazy. listen to that. Download that shit. It's fucking good. Like it's not Brain like that deaf. SoundCloud shit where like. 
I still see the shit. It's like good. Not that mumble rap. Yeah. A minute, 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 minute. Brian says, what's the difference between you and the pot I piss in? And I exactly. call my mom and say that every day now. <laughs> um, that's how I greet my mom in the morning. <laughs> hey, mom, remember? <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, go listen to it. Support it. We got TikToks, the bar underscore talk, right? Yep. We got new shit yep. coming out on there all the time. Go look mm-hmm. at my... Andrew oh, yeah. Tate, Sigma Andrew Mel. Andrew Tate-esque. Pose. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. <laughs> yeah. Giga Chad. Uh, we're going to make another one tonight. So uh, listen to it. Support us, please. I need money. Oh, yeah. I need money. I'm tired of sucking dick for Coke and money. You know, we need, we need money, but more importantly, we need your happiness. We need yeah. your love. Yeah. We need your compassion. Yeah. And your attention. Yeah. And what else? We need your firstborn child to be on Balenciaga. (laughs) All right. See you later, folks. Bye.